Hey guys, it's Sisney, and he is no stranger to our iHeartRadio Music Festivals, um, especially considering that you performed at our very first one ever 10 years ago. Welcome back, Usher. How are you? I'm a veteran to the uh, music <laughs> festival, right? <laughs> You're practically an employee at this point. Hey, hey, you go. How you doing? I'm good. How have you been? How have you been holding up this year? Oh, man, it's been a bit of a tough time, you know, just to figure out how to get back to the new normal, which is to be able to have an experience with your fans. You know, you make music yeah. and you do these creative things to be able to share them in real time. But everything has like, you know, there's a there's something obviously in between us. So really looking forward to live performance, you know, here today being able to perform for my fans. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited about it. But also to, you know, on the heels of the release of um, my residency, which will be next year, uh, July, I really can't wait to that. Just been, you know, anticipating that new, that, oh, that idea of the new normal performing. I you know? know, I know. Yeah. And I want to get to your Las Vegas uh, residency for sure. Um, yeah. But, you know, when it comes to this festival specifically, uh -huh. you've done so many of them for us. Is there something that stands out for you? Like what makes it unique for you to always come back? I mean, I feel like I'm family. And I and I uh, if I'm introducing new music or just celebrating the hits of my past, mm -hmm. um, I've been able to both uh, introduce it in a way that I felt would really serve the launch of projects as well as, you know, just to keep the conversation going. And, and not to mention, I just I just really enjoy being in Vegas doing it. So yeah. this year to be able to right. do it here in the studio is like really comfortable. <laughs> um, I, I don't, I don't get the treat of being in Vegas to do it, but you know, the high, I'll tell you one r really incredible highlight for me was when, uh, we performed in Vegas. I brought, um, Lil John and Ludacris out on stage. Another yeah. time I brought Chris Brown out uh, doing, um, um, New Flame. So just every time being able to introduce my music on the stage and give it the look and the feel that it needs, I really do appreciate that. So you're bearing the lead on both of those experiences because mm -hmm. what you're not saying is that when you performed New Flame, your shoes uh, caught on fire. They literally were on fire on stage, which is why it was I'm a like, New Flame. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was a New Flame exactly. And then when you did perform with Ludacris and um, Lil John, you actually played the Global Citizen Festival in New York City that same exact day. And what people don't know is that you hopped on a plane yeah. and you landed in Vegas and you yeah. went straight to the stage. See what I do? See what I do for you guys, man? I always try to, you know, <laughs> just go over and above, man. <laughs> no, but, it's awesome. But, but the treat what of being that? able to just go out my you know, front door and come over here is definitely a, a treat. <laughs> right. Yes, exactly. You're not having to fly across the country, but you got to yeah. love the, I guess, the time difference is what saved you there. Yeah. Um, so, yes, yeah, like you're saying, you're in the studio this year. We're not in Vegas. Uh, I love Vegas. I miss Vegas. I miss, you know, not only our festivals there, but our after parties and things like that. You may not know this, but I think back in, like, 2012, um, you performed at our festival. Uh -huh. And then there was an after party at One Oak. And you shut me down on the dance floor. I'll never forget <laughs> it. You, you killed me. I, I'll, I'll never forget that. I... I, I you know, I consider myself a pretty good dancer, but, like, you no. shut me down. Is that what you're talking about? No, I was talking about how I basically crashed your party. I ended up at your table somehow, and so I just wanted to thank you for the drinks because oh, they were man. delicious. And uh, I, I hope was, you enjoyed it. Was a party. It. <laughs> it was a party. Even Cy, he performed Gognum Style that night. Yeah. Like, it was just such a, I will never forget that night. It was so much fun. So thank you. Yeah, well, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, back again. to Vegas because uh, <laughs> this residency is something that is going to be on my to-do list as soon as we are ready to start, you know, enjoying ourselves in yeah. concerts. And it's kicking off in July of 2021. What can you tell us about it? I'm assuming all your hits, all your classics, right? Yeah, it couldn't have come at a better time. You know, as people are anticipating being able to get back into the flow of things of, you know, going to shows, I felt what what better moment than to, than to do it now? Us coming mm -hmm. out of this quarantine and then being able to take all of what I've done in my life and be able to put it on the stage that I just waited and waited and waited and waited to be able to be on. You know, so many incredible artists, classic le legacy artists have chosen, you know, to go to Vegas. Me, I get a chance to bring everybody from all over the world to be able to share this moment with them. I'm gonna make it as immersive as I possibly can and try and break a few, you know, barriers, you know, try some different things. Maybe I can explain, you know, older records and the inspiration for them. 
And I always try to find ways. Well, Vegas allows you to be able to pull all those worlds together, being able to, yeah. you know, do act, acting, art, all of it together. So I'm mm-hmm. trying to figure out a way to do something really immersive and give you the hits at the same time. Oh, we love that. Yeah. As an artist, is Vegas like, is Vegas like the ultimate, not the ultimate it goal, is. but it's, it's a huge accomplishment, right? Yo, it is one of the greatest accomplishments of life. You know, it's like yeah. to w- say that you finally made it to Vegas. The, you know, legacy artists of our time have made it there and made it big there. You know, whether it was Elvis or Fred Astaire, or Frank Sinatra or whoever. You know, so many incredible Hello? musicians, so many incredible comedians mm-hmm. have been able to go there. So I'm just really happy to be able to say that I'm playing in the same place that Celine Dion just was. Uh, and now it's my turn to, to do my thing at the Coliseum. Uh, so really excited and uh, can't wait till next year. Yeah, tickets are available now. You can get them at That's Ticketmaster.com. Right. Usher's 2021 Las Vegas yeah. residency, the Coliseum. Um, yeah. Can we talk about new music? Because Bad Habits, I have been spending a lot of time with, and it's so good. So congratulations. But I know you're in the studio, and an album is coming, right? What can you and tell us? The album is coming. You know, I've been working on it for the last uh, two years. And as I've now arrived in this place, I'm ready to offer the beginning of the stories, the beginning of where I was and what I was experiencing and why I'm able to be in this this very happy place that I'm in. So mm-hmm. Bad Habits is the beginning of it. The album, hopefully coming later this year. Um, I'm, not, I'm not putting too much pressure on myself, but what I am doing is making an offering. It's the art. To me, when it speaks to me, I feel like it's ready. I go with it. I offer it the way that it, it comes to me. I love that. And is there yeah. a little bit of a sample at the end of Bad Habits? Oh, you're talking like a, about the Zap and Roger sample. They, yeah. they had computer love, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I heard it. It's so good. That's I that, love it so much. That's just bringing the soul into it, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we are on our, you know, rating for that album two years in the making. I can't imagine how if it's ever going to be complete in your ears, right? Is, is it ever? Re- I don't remember when it started, and I yeah. don't know if I'll know if it'll ever stop. Because I've just been in the flow. So when I even think, like, man, it hasn't been two years? Because now it's been a lot of stop and start. I've decided to go mm-hmm. do other things and come back to it. But now i uh, ready to offer the music that I've been collecting over this time. So. You've got a lot on your plate, Usher, from all yeah. the music, performing yeah. with us, your residency, yeah. Yeah. a baby on the way. Yep. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. I have much. two-year-old really twins, so you I'm in twins. the thick of it. <laughs> I do. Oh, man. Man, how old are they? There are two. First two. try, or for, you know, for first, first, you know, we were trying to have for one and we got two. Had Terrible no idea. twos, man. Terrible twos. They oh. are, are very curious. They're getting into a lot of things, but I know you have obviously older kids, but you're yeah. getting back into the baby world. Makes so it easy for me advice. to have babysitters. <laughs> <laughs> but that is true, actually. Right. That is true. <laughs> so congrats on that. And before I let you go, Usher, you know, it is such a crazy year and the importance to vote is something that is needs to be spread across our country this year more than ever this election more than ever what is something that you can tell either our youth or just the public in general um why personally you feel it's important to vote well i mean starting with the fact as an african-american so many people advocated died and made sacrifices for us to be even to be able to even have the ability to vote. Um, I can't make you do it, but I can advise you and I can give you, you know, the hope that you that you would like to see starts with you using your voice. Your voice is your vote. So whomever, whomever you choose to vote for is, is on you, but ultimately use your voice. Don't take it for granted. This election is by far one of the most significant and important. So um, you guys definitely get out there and, and vote this year. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Usher, thank you so much for, yeah, again, being part of our, now our 10th iHeartRadio Music Festival. I can't believe it's been 10 years. It's just and beyond an exciting year, an exciting moment for me, just launching Bad Habits, the video, the iHeartRadio Music Festival, new baby on the way, new music <laughs> on the way. So I just, you know what, Vegas residency coming up next year. I mean, I'm just, I'm living, man. I'm just really enjoying life right now. So I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes from your book. (laughs) Well, congratulations. Thank Thank you you. again for uh, taking the time. Usher. Absolutely. Peace. See ya.